My name is Gareth Conicky from Advanced Fibre Solutions. I'm here today to introduce uh, our new handheld uh, OTDR uh, for testing fibre links and fibre systems. Um, what I want to show you today is um, the different features of this new product, uh, to show you how user friendly it is. Um, Alright, when, when we first turn on the unit, you have a couple of different options. You have, um, you have as regards setting up the parameters of the unit, you can do an auto test, which will basically um, it will run a pulse into the fibre that you want to test, and from the back reflection, it will determine the parameters of um, of that of that fibre, and it'll do the setup automatically for you. Now, if you're a more experienced user, you'd probably be more comfortable um, actually doing the setup yourself. Um, and in this case, you would go into the setup field. Uh, you would select the wavelength that you want to test. You would select um, the distance range, uh, the pulse width, uh, the resolution, and the measurement time that you want to test. In this case, we're going to do a quick test on, on a, a one kilometer cable, um, and I'm just going to show you the setup for that test. We're going to test it at um, 1300 um, because it's a one kilometer cable we're going to um, set the, the distance range to two kilometers because uh, um, when you're testing a fiber optic cable with an OTDR you always want to have uh, the distance range at least twice the, uh, the length of the cable that you're going to be testing because this will prevent ghosting um, as regards the pulse width because this is a short cable we're going to set it to the shortest pulse it will give us the maximum resolution um, on this test and then the, um, the resolution we're just going to leave that to auto and um, the, the distance the measurement time and um, in this case we have the option to um, to set 5 seconds 15 30 seconds again um, just for this particular test we're just going to set it to 15 seconds and, uh, and just see how clean the trace is so now that you've your setup done we're just gonna we're going to run a trace All right, now that we have our trace run, um, what we want to take a look at is the different measurement modes. Um, here we see, see our selection. We have two point, which is basically a raw reading between um, the two markers. Uh, we have LSA, which is a least square approximation, which gives us uh, a more accurate reading, sort of a filtered reading between the two markers. Um, we have the splice, uh, the splice measurement mode, which allows you to measure the loss of, of a non-reflective event, which is generally a fusion splice. Um, and then we've got the reflectance mode which allows you to, to measure a reflective event which um, something like a, a mechanical splice or, or an actual connector again. Um, and finally we have the ORL which is, is the optical return loss which uh, you can measure the length of the whole line or you can measure different sections of the line. Okay, now that we've, we've ran our trace, uh, the next step is to, is to save the trace. Um, this can simply be done by by going to the, um, the file field and in the file field you have a, you have a number of options here uh, under the, the, um, the, the save function. You can save it as a standard SOR file which, which you can open in any OTDR um, software or you can save it as, as uh, a PDF file. This is, this is a um, sort of a, new, a unique feature to our product. Um, it allows you to, to quickly save the, uh, save the trace under a PDF format which allows you to, to print it quickly or to email it off to uh, a, a client, just making it a little more user friendly. Um, we have a number of different um, models available for whether it's for, for multi-mode application, for single mode application, or, um, or for multi-mode and single mode, which would be a quad unit. Um, multi-mode wavelengths 850, 1300 for single mode, 1310, 1550. We also have a, an FTTX uh, model which includes the, the 1625 um, wavelength. Um, in regards to the dynamic range, we have um, 1 meter event dead zone uh, or 2.5 meter event dead zone, again depending on, on, on what your application is, um, you know, those selections are available. Okay, um, here we have a 25 kilometer cable with, with um, six different events. Um, we can take a look at, at, at the different events by entering the, the events table. In the events table we can see that the, each event is numbered and we can see that there's a, there's a little box around each event. Um, we can scroll uh, back and forth across the, 
to trace to each event and as we scroll we can see in the events table um, the, the actual whether the, the event is a reflective event or if it's a non-reflective event, the distance of the event and the, the loss of the event. So um, this shows, shows you the actual functionality of the events table. Um, we also have a jump drive um, on the side of the unit for extra, extra memory storage. Um, and we've got the mini USB for, for connecting with the, with the PC software. The unit also can, can, can run directly off the PC, so if, if, um, if the screen does not suit your technician and they're looking for something that's, that's a little uh, bigger and easier for them to see, they can, they can connect it to a laptop and they can run it directly from a laptop. My name is Gareth Conicky, my company is Advanced Fibre Solutions and I want to thank you for watching this video presented by uh, the Test Equipment Depot. Thank you.